Hi descendants, welcome to another video. Today I'm going to talk about season one and how can we prepare for this awesome season that has been just announced a couple days ago. If you haven't watched this amazing trailer, I'm going to leave a link below where you can watch this, you know, where they tease uh, the new descendants coming out, the new zones, the new bosses and everything in there. We are super hyped. Community is on fire and we want to uh, prepare the best we can. So in this video, we're going to talk about what are, what are the latest news that we have about season one? What are the things to focus on and how can we prepare in the remaining 10 days to be ready to kick off the season one as soon as possible so with that being said let's talk about the few news that have been already shared let's talk about them one by one so in season one they're promising a couple more new descendants a couple more new ultimate weapons a new boss new dungeons even new dungeon mechanics as well as new modes so there's going to be a lot of things that we will be able to try out and play around with. So with season one, Nexon is going to introduce a new seasonal progression, which is, as far as we understand, a progression that is going to be different each season. And it's probably very similar to progressions like in Diablo 4, seasonal progressions, or in general, just those type of progressions that will also benefit your descendants in somewhat, some kind of a damage boost or some kind of a loot boost experience boost this will put a priority for us to get those additional perks as soon as possible so the moment we have more information and the moment we see the new season coming out you know excited to see what they actually prepared and is this going to be any beneficial for us in the long run all right so they will be introducing a new way of doing dungeons there will be a new mode called invasion dungeons uh there is not much information on it, but as far as we understand, there will be on a week on a weekly rotation. Uh, there will be um, a combination of two different dungeons that are gonna be combining mechanics with one with each other, and it will be focused for solo play and speed running. So there will be this type of a uh, you know dungeon that you do your weekly dungeon where you have a leaderboard on it or something like that. Hopefully there will be some competition that we can uh, really try to speed run over there and stuff like that. I can already tell you if this is going to be a leaderboard, it's going to be all bunnies out there, but <laughs> they are introducing two new ultimate weapons, one called Excala and the other one Frost Watcher. Well, Frost Watcher, guess what? It's going to be a chill weapon, but Excava most likely uh, electricity or we cannot tell. There is a little bit of a, you know, tease and, and footage of the weapons being used by Vobby in the trailer and stuff like that. So far, there are more speculations than, you know, facts. But the fact that they announced two weapons, we can already start grinding for those weapons the moment season one hits. Another good and interesting thing that they're talking about over here that with season one, they will reintroduce some kind of a, a vendor or some kind of a exchange, uh, you know, option for us to exchange blueprints that we have multiple of. For example, I have, I, I have a bunch of Enzo blueprints. I have a bunch of Glaive blueprints and stuff like this. So I, I, I would love to be able to swap those out and exchange them for whatever other type of material. They are talking that they will be introducing a new mechanic where we will be able to uh, do these changes and exchange things that we have multiple um, amounts of. With Season 1, we will also be fighting a new boss, a new Void Intercept battle. It's going to be the boss that Stalker is going to enter the league. Now, as far as I understand, that's going to be a Toxic-based uh, boss that will do uh, Toxic damage. That means he joins the group of Devourer and Swamp Walker. However, there is one thing that I really, really hope that will be the case with this boss as he doesn't continue this tradition of requiring full team for you to kill a boss. I really hope that this boss will be able to be cleared out solo. The other cool and really exciting news is that we get two descendants. They say that there will be three descendants new descendants but they already announced like only two man i couldn't be more excited about freyna ultimate freyna is going to be released very soon i'm very excited however i kind of want to cry because i actually almost maxed her out the other day it was, i spent a bunch of the crystallization catalyst on her but however no regrets i had fun playing her i will continue playing the normal version 
of Freyna. And maybe I'll try to build ultimate Freyna differently. Depends on the transcendent mods that they're going to roll out with her. With that being said, folks, let's talk about realistically. Let's what what is the minimum, absolute minimum that you can actually do in order to prepare and get yourself ready for the new descendants that are coming out. If you want to get both Ultimate Freyna and Haley, prepare your wallets, your Crystallization Callus wallets, particularly uh, because you will need a bunch of those. So the absolute minimum, let's say. Ultimate Freyna comes on release on the 29th, on the release of Season 1. Let's say we just talk about the moment you acquire the Descendants. If you want to be ready in terms of Crystallization Catalyst and Energy Activator Blueprints, well, guess what? You'll need a bunch. 11, because usually if you want to have a full max, you also put one on the submodule to have 85 capacity in the end. We're talking about 11 Crystallization Catalysts Per Descendant, that makes 22 for both Descendants if you're going to max both out day one. I mean, not day one, but you want to, to work on maxing them out as soon as possible as they release. So if you're already, you know, excited about them and you want to prepare uh, in that, make sure you actually get some blueprints and start crafting and have these ready day one so that you can already go straight into power leveling, straight into um you know building those descendants the other one thing that you can actually prepare and sit down right now and spend a little bit of time of yours to kind of work your way towards perfection once you get ultimate freina as well is get some reactors now freina generally is looking for, for tech reactors because her your first your third and your ult ability are tech ultimate freina it's going to be the same kit she is just probably going to bring, you know, different base stats and a couple of, you know, unique transcendent modules that are most likely going to change the gameplay of Reyna. Hopefully it will be something very cool. But for the time being, you're looking for tech reactors. And my advice over here is if you're looking for that perfect reactor, just go over here. Look for your tech reactors. And whether it is impact rounds, general rounds, right now there is still some rotation. Today's Monday the 19th, so in about 10 days, I have about 10 days to look for some good reactors if I'm going to go Ultimate Freyna day one, right? So make advantage of the rotation. If you're watching this video a couple of days from now, you probably have uh, another week. It is going to be a little bit difficult to determine, all right, what is going to be the best in slots, um, you know, reactor uh, for Haley without us knowing her skills and her kit in general. But we could have two approaches over here. One of them, if you go the singular tech approach, this is going to be, you know, benefiting you in case you want to build VS as well. If you need a best in slot VS in general, just reactor, you can benefit this week's rotation still however if you're looking for fusion now fusion right now is not actually interesting for viesa it might be something interesting for uh Haley. we don't know yet however for whatever reason i have a feeling that since she is gonna have a big sniper and she's gonna be a weapon based kind of weapon approach based descendant kind of feels more like there might be um you know either some dimension or tech going on there as a build curious to see what is gonna be so just if you like one of these zones if you're gonna be uh, grinding in one of these zones for whatever reason if you get any yellow drop double yellow drop reactors just put them aside you don't know uh for you know for what descendant this is gonna be good at Yo, are you excited about the new season? Let me know in the comments below. Are you more excited for Haley? Or are you more excited for Ultimate Freyna?